metabolism is once we consume food it is digested and is absorbed into the blood circulation from there it goes into different body parts the small functional units in our body are called cells say for example heart is made up of heart cells liver is made up of liver cells and bone is made up of bone cells a typical structure of cell is like this so all the nutrients are coming into the cell they have two fates one is breaking that nutrients to release energy or making something else which body requires from the nutrients say for example glucose and fat they get broken down to release energy right in this process carbon dioxide and water are produced in the same way the protein that is entering into the cell or the amino acid what it does is it is making some healthy tissue like your muscle or something else bone or whatever so this is making so the breaking and making together are called the reactions are called metabolic reactions these two are called metabolic reactions say for example these metabolic reactions the nutrients the glucose the protein and the fat once they enter because of our eating habits or uh, lack of certain nutrients if this metabolism is not up to the mark that means making and breaking that is uh, catabolism and anabolism are not happening all the nutrients that enter into the cell they are not utilized they finally get stored converted and stored as fat which leads to weight gain so it is always important to keep one's metabolism active in order not to gain weight